Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Technocat. This is RT Toolbox 3 robot uh, tutorial number 2. So in this tutorial, we will learn about the I.O. mapping of uh, Mitsubishi robot, whether it be in the hard I.O.s or the uh, I.O.s on communication like C-Link or C-Link I feel basic. So let's get started. So I will put this uh, project. If you have watched tutorial number 1, then you have may know that uh, how to uh, make a new project and this window will appear after that so i will i'm um, writing this in simulation mode so it will take few seconds to come in the simulation mode so we need to wait for that in the meantime i must tell you that uh, if we talk about the uh, hard IOs or you can say the IOs like sync and source output or input of robot so that uh, the address of that IOs are like 0, 1, 2, 3 and till 32 or 33 and so on and if we talk about the C, uh, IOs in CC link so they starts from 6000 and uh, the input is 6000 the output is 6000 so both are considered as 6000 but the difference is that 6000 is for the input and another 6000 for the output so are the two different things so let's see here so i have opened the simulation mode and uh, i will go to the parameter section first so in the parameter section you can see signal parameters and and the field network so if i am going to signal parameters and i will go to the dedicated important assignment in the general one so by default the values of this are like zero is for the stop that is uh, fixed for stop input so input number zero is for the stop input if we talk about the hard wiring and uh, this is for the hard wiring actually is six uh, the uh, number one is for the servo off then two is for error reset and then three is for start 4 is for servo on and 5 is for operation enable and if you talk about the output so output 0 is for the start and the output 1 is for servo on 2 is for error uh, error output means uh, if the robot is in error so it will get to output number 2 and the 3 is for the operation enable and this whole section is for the IO assignment if you require uh, any of these uh, input and outputs, you can assign the uh, output or input in the blocks. Like if you want to move to a safe position or you can say home, so you can write like suppose I, I can write 10 here. So if I input a number input number 10, the robot will move to the home position. But provided that the servo is enabled and uh, the operation is operation level input is there, like see here, like operation enable is there and servo is on feedback is coming so then only if you uh, output, uh, input the uh, output number ten, uh, input number 10 then the robot will move to the home position and uh, these are all inputs and if you talk about output so if your robot is moving to the home position then uh, this safe POS output will turn on so you can assign any of the values like uh, in high uh, like you can say fatal error uh, in the fatal error or high level errors the HLVL ERR will turn on and uh, for the low level this will on and for warning and when this will turn on for the emergency like uh, if uh, the pendant emergency is pressed or robot safety input is pressed like emergency one and emergency two data placed on the robot controller if they are pressed then this output will turn on so these are all uh, from here until the machine lock each these are all the uh, IOs if you require as for the application you can use the input and output so now uh, if we talk about the communication part uh, for the like suppose CC link so CC link uh, IOs starts from 6000 and we go up to uh, the setting you have done like 
uh, the station number is one okay then occupancy birex you can set from one to four and the magnification is from one to eight okay so this is the ceiling setting and uh, uh, the communication uh, speed is also set so once you want to use this you can uh, write the parameters and uh, if you want to use sysling i feel basic then double click this and you need to enable the sysling i feel basic function so it will use the parameter same for the sysling so for sysling i feel basic also the input and output are from 6000 so you do not need to do anything else just uh, this zero will be used as 6000 and 6000 and uh, the server one you can use like 6001 so all the output and input are mentioned in 6000 so this is how you can you can uh, means uh, communicate with the robot on cc link all the input and output will be on cc link like here and just you need to write the sorry as you need to write the parameters here the right option you can write yes so all this will go to the controller and the controller will ask for the reboot so if you have done the setting correctly you can reboot or if you want to do another setting then you can go to like this and i can write 6010 and then again i will write yes and i can reboot the robot now so this is all for the uh, io configuration and the mapping so if you like my video please like share, and subscribe thank you and stay tuned for the next video of uh, robot rt toolbox 3 mitsubishi robot tutorial so thank you